Maybe it's going to be a quick pinch. At One Medical, our serology tests are yeah, all being sent out to LabCorp or Quest. Most of the time, they are using a test that is manufactured, the reagents and the machine by Abbott. So that's the extremely high performing, 99.9% .9 specific, 100% sensitive test. One company, Roche, announced recently for a blood draw, 100% sensitivity. That's pretty good. And over 99% specificity, that's really good too, because that's going to minimize my number of false negatives. That's what I'm concerned about, as well as false positives. If you test where there's a low prevalence, meaning there's a low percentage of people that have the disease, and say you have something that's 95% accurate or 90% accurate, that sounds pretty good, but it's not. When you're testing hundreds of thousands of people or millions of people, you could have tens of thousands of inaccurate information on both ways. So you want something, honestly, that's greater than 99% in both of those measures. So for SARS and MERS, which are similar um, to the novel coronavirus, presence of antibodies typically gave persons two to three years of protection. So that's a good sign. And in other instances like this, antibodies usually give protection. For how long? We're not sure. But if I had to guess, I'm going to guess that the presence of antibodies gives some protection if it's an accurate test. They email us the report. And so it would come out looking like this. So this is the serum part of your blood. These are the platelets underneath. And that gel that you see at the bottom there, that migrates to the middle in order to separate the serum from the rest of the components in the blood. For this particular antibody test, they need the serum portion of your blood, and so that's why we pop it into the centrifuge.